Well, hello there to everyone and welcome, welcome, welcome to the CDC's first CDC Experience Podcast. I will be your host for this afternoon and I am Satora Schumann-Smith, Project Manager here at the CDC. And I, let me tell you, I am so excited. A podcast has been on my bucket list for a very long time and I am so grateful for the opportunity to share what I've been wanting to do with all of you. So I hope you're logging in. I hope you're going to sign in and tune in. And if you have questions or comments, by all means, please log on and let us know what you want to talk about or what you need us to hear, what you need to hear. Again, I'm Satora Schumann-Smith and welcome to the CDC Experience. And today's guest is one of my sheroes. It's Women's History Month. So we've been celebrating amazing women all month long. And you know what? We should continue to celebrate amazing women 365 days a year. But today I am with one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, Miss Angel Shackleford. Hey, Angel. And Angel is just, she is my angel. But I just, I am so happy that you're here, that you're my first guest. I have another amazing guest coming up. But I'm going to jump right into this because I think you and I could probably talk for longer than what the podcast is actually going to be. Yes. But um, you have such an amazing following on social media. And I'm not one to follow a lot of trends or a lot of people on social media, but I follow you. But one thing that I noticed about you, Angel, is the fact that you not only promote your business, which is Bust Down, Scrub Down Cleaning Services, which we'll talk about later, but you promote everybody else. You are a champion for everybody. So let me ask you, and I want you to tell everybody, honestly, why do you think it's important that you support others in the way that you do? It's important because you can't do, you know, things alone. You shouldn't do them alone. Mm -hmm. Um, My road to this success has been very lonely. Um, I did a lot of things on my own, but I learned that the more I delegate and collaborate with people, the more successful I can become. And then it went far beyond just the, um, my cleaning service. In some homes I go into, there's a need. So I started to fill that void by asking the community, do you have extra pillows, comforters? Okay. So it, it, I was able to bridge the gap just not within um, growing my business but helping the people that I serve. Okay, because I, I'm telling you, I see you all the time. And you are like the queen of uh, reels. Is that what the term is, reels? Yes. You know, old folks yes. don't know that kind of stuff, but it's reels. I mean, you're, you're showcasing people's businesses, their events, their workshops, and how much love do you get from others? I, I believe it's reciprocated. Now. Okay. Um, in the beginning, with growing my cleaning business, I got a lot of cold shoulders, like, why do you want to be friends with me? We're in the same field. Um, they didn't know that it was more of a collaborative effort. Mm-hmm. Uh, once they seen that I was giving them business as well, it's not with a lot of people that had struggling businesses. They were ready to just cut it off. But when they got to know me and saw that I was genuine, then the flood was closed. And we're fully collaborating and have been quite some time now. And you are genuine. I, I'm telling you, I love watching you on Facebook. <laughs> it's like, because there are those days when you're like so serious you know, about your business, about whoever, whoever you're promoting, whoever business that might be. But you are so funny. You are so funny and so transparent. And, and I think that a lot of people feel that, you know, when you've reached a certain level, mm-hmm. that you become unapproachable or, um, you know, that, oh, well, she's doing this. So, you know, she probably doesn't want to be around me or with me or whatever right. the case may be. Because, you know, this can be a cutthroat area. You're a woman yeah. business owner, you know, but uh, for me, you, I used to always tell young people that people like yourself, I consider tangible greatness, mm-hmm. tangible greatness, everybody. And tangible greatness is a term that means you're right here. I can reach out and I can touch you. You're right here. You're an example that I can just, you know, call on or somebody, I can pick up the phone. You're in my cell phone and call you. Um, you know, so a lot of people need to see more tangible greatness and and women like yourself angel but um and of course people want to know all about bust down scrub down which i love the name um and i definitely need to have you over at my house but before before you tell us about your business 
Um, what was your professional life like before you became an entrepreneur? I've always been an entrepreneur. Um, I had a child at 15, okay. and I love braiding hair. I was braiding hair at the same age. My lovely um, learned her craft of braiding as well. I was about 12 or 13. And um, when I had my first son, I knew that I didn't want to send him to daycare. So I made or started Angel's House of Braids. Okay. Yep. My late sister um, helped me come up with the name, set all the business side up, and that's what I did for 16 long years. I never knew that. Yeah. I never knew that. So I, I'm learning about my Shiro. <laughs> um, so what stopped you from doing hair braiding to cleaning services? Well, my mom hired me to clean at 11, so that was always always within me to clean. Um, I never took it on or took it as serious to start a business. Okay. It wasn't until I received burnout from braiding hair for so long. It's very hectic, you know, it's hectic on your body. Um, but I, I've always loved to clean. So that's where Bust Down, Scrub Down comes from. Well, I'll tell you this. I love to clean as well. But you definitely don't have to worry about me being competition. Because I used to, <laughs> don't, nope, I won't be in competition with you. I love to clean, um, but not so much that I want to do it for anybody else. Right. I used to, I mean, seriously, people are like, you like to do what? Yes, mop, scrub, <laughs> you know, and look at, make sure there's dust on it. So I did a good job. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it takes a, a very special person to want to do that for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I know there are people out there who may not be physically able to take care of their homes, but still take pride in it. So definitely thank you for that. Um, before we go on, if anybody has any questions for Angel or for myself, uh, please, by all means, log on and put your comments in or your questions in, and we will be happy to answer them for you. So now again, um, like I said, I think you and I could probably talk a long time and probably laugh more than we talk, but you came to the CDC. Um, as a, a member of an organization that we started, a network support group that we started called We Mean Business. Mm -hmm. And WE stands for Women Entrepreneurs Mean Business. So if you are a business owner out there, especially in the East Tampa area, but anywhere, please reach out to us. You can reach out to us through our um, website or by emailing me at sartura, S-A-R-T-U-R-A dot smith at the CDC of Tampa org, And we can tell you more about our We Mean Business initiative. But you also participate in another one of our new initiatives called Impact Mondays and Wisdom Wednesdays because we have a lot going on here at the CDC because we want to make sure that everybody is empowered. Everybody is getting what we're getting. And we want to share um, all of the resources that we have. So you've also gotten a contract mm -hmm. by our coming and and I'm going to say playing with us in our sandbox but and um you know I was so happy to be able to make that connection for you and it was I didn't even know it was a done deal until I saw you on Facebook oh, no. and I said they left me out nobody said, told me they got the contract but no congratulations on that you. and you have amazing contracts anyway but now I'm going to consider you an official member of the CDC family Okay. So now this is a little um, question for you, like a Jeopardy question. I'm going to play a little music in the background. You know that music? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay. So what do you know now about the CDC that you did not know before? All the amazing programs um, that you all offer. I knew that you helped with housing development. Um, Chloe Coney and I go way back. Um, just had a close connection with her and her family. Um, but I was never really in with the CDC. I didn't visit the CDC, okay. but I would direct people to the CDC that I know needed um, some of the benefits that they offer. But the programs, I mean, down to what you all have implemented, I thought that that was fast, quick, and I mean, you filled the room to her. That was amazing. <laughs> what she thought was just going to be something um, yeah. so simple, it turned into something that she needed you know, help and structuring with because it grew so fast because of um, the church. Oh, well, She's thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, thank you. I, I love, I'm big in the community, so anyone else is doing the same thing, we definitely can walk together. Thank you. I, and I appreciate that. But I have to give thanks to the people here at the CDC because it was really, we mean business was seriously. And I know people say this sounds so cliche that, you know, people say I was laying in bed one night and this came to me or I was sitting up and God spoke to me, but it really was that type of situation. 
I was actually having lunch with one of our community partners. And I said, you know, well, we need to do something for women entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And I'm really big on um, titles. And when I say titles, like names for things, it just can't be, you know, a women's support group. It can't just be, it has to have a title for me. Um, so that came to me, we mean business. And um, I was just looking at your big picture on our wall here at the CDC um, at 1907 East Hillsborough Avenue. <laughs> um, and we started out with, I think, 12 women the first month in December, and then 26 women in um, January and last month we had over 62 women uh, I, I thank you and but it's amazing people like you mm -hmm. that support us because we're not just here to support you and other women you all are here to support us you know because we need to you know we need to stay in business mm -hmm. and in order to stay in business we have to have people who are satisfied yes. with the services and resources that we provide I'm not sure if we have any questions but I think we do so I'm going to take this over here. Um, let's thank right now. We're going to do a commercial break right now, but we're not going anywhere. I just want to, we have a sisterhood summit coming up on this Friday, March 31st for girls. I believe the ages are 16 to 24, but it's an annual event that this, that the CDC has done for a few years now. Um, Alexandria Andrade is the person over this program with us. So we are doing our sisterhood summit this Friday at Career Source. For more information, log on to our website at www.cdcftampa.org. But we right now just want to take a minute, um, Angel, to thank our sponsors. We have Coca-Cola Beverage Flor of Florida. We have Tico. We have Leadership Tampa 2018. That's the class of 2018 Leadership Tampa. Bank of America. We also have Jameis Winston's Dream Forever Foundation, Amgen, and Career Source of Tampa Bay. So if you want more information on how to be a sponsor or how to be a volunteer for our Sisterhood Summit, which is going to be this Friday, March 31st, at Career Source, by all means, please, please do log on to our website at www.cdcoftampa.org. So we're going to continue. Thanks for that. Um, we're going to continue our conversation. If we have any people who have logged on, um, I would love to answer any of your questions. But we're going to continue the conversation. Um, if I have time left in this segment, one last question. One last question. I know just from Facebook, just from social media, period. I'm serious. I get tired watching, not tired of watching you, but tired <laughs> from watching you. It's like, when does this woman stop? And you don't. You came in here with your own camera equipment and your own video equipment and your everything. You ha you're always on point. You are one busy woman, Miss Angel. Seriously, it's like, uh, it just does my heart good. Um, and you have your business. Your amazing children have their businesses. Yeah. And you are all over the place. I see you at workshops. I see you at classes. I see you at um, professional events. Let me know and let everybody out there know, when do you have time or how do you make time for you? Uh, I make time for me daily. Um, okay. I delegate a lot. So I've fired myself and hired my children and they take care of the house, <laughs> literally. Okay. Um, that goes along with my brochure. Um, a lot of people know the programs that we do offer. Um, BBSD is more than a cleaning service. We have sessions that we implement within it. My um, 15, well, 16, now lovely 15. And 17 year old, they teach kid clean camp. Oh, really wow. Fun, innovative camp that we're inside the family home and teaching the family how to stay on track. And it's fun. Oh, that is, I see, I didn't know that. Let me see that brochure. Yeah. And if you can see, if you can zoom in, we want to definitely let you know that Bust Down Scrub Down is more than just a cleaning service. Yes. You have other resources. You just said that you and your children have implemented, implemented mm -hmm. a cleaning camp. Yes, Kid Clean Camp, and um, anyone that wants to inquire with Bust Down, Scrub Down Cleaning Services, I am on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, all social media platforms. My um, phone number is 813-850-1521. If you would like a quote, please call me or send your address and your email to that number, 813-850-1521. Do you know how many people would want their child to go to a kid clean camp? I put mine in camp. 
Okay. I love it. Angel, I really, really appreciate you so Thanks. very much. Angel Shackerford with Bust Down Scrub Down Cleaning Services. I just love Angel. She is an angel. So, oh, what do you have for me? What do you have for me? Yes. Do we have time for everybody to see what I have? I love you, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yay. Oh, and please let me say to you um, that you gave me something else the last time you were here. Your daughter did. Mm -hmm. And I will not divulge what it was, but I have used <laughs> everything in that bag. Good. Her daughter, Lovely, is a hairstylist yes. and a hair technician. Yes. And so everything that was in there. I used yeah. and I always oh my you must have know I just asked for some of these today the mint was from me and the thank you was from the kids they love you for just as much oh thank you thank you thank you look at this thank you angel you're thank welcome. you to your children um Javen I got it right yes lovely your oldest son is Jamarcus 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 and yes. oh, wow. so thank you for coming back and staying tuned with us again if you have any comments or questions by all means Please log on to the chat, type in your questions or comments, and we'll be happy to answer them. Well, I am back, and I am with my second guest. And again, I am so excited um, to have been given this opportunity to do a podcast, to scratch this off my bucket list, but then to have amazing guests. And I have with me now is Ms. Deborah Garcia from STEM Life Holistic Primary Care Center. And thank you, Deborah, for being here. So I'm going to tell you all a little secret why I chose Deborah. They gave me the opportunity to decide who I wanted to talk with and why during Women's History Month. And then again, we are still celebrating Women's History Month. But again, let's celebrate amazing women every month, all day, every day, because we do have amazing women out here in our Tampa community, and I have one of those ladies here with me. So I'm going to let everybody know this little secret, Deborah. Deborah um, has been a part of our We Mean Business initiative, and the first time she came to the first meeting, it was a small group, and she was very quiet, but you could tell she was very engaged and taking notes and really listening, but we started talking about marketing and promoting your business, and we had our own very own Bridget Blake, our marketing director here, do a session last month. But the first time out, you said, I'm really shy and I really don't know how to market myself or my business. Well, guess what, Deborah? You have an entire audience right here, right there in that camera that you can now market your business to. And I don't want to put you on the spot, but I want you to take this opportunity to market yourself. Thank you, especially coming after Angel. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, no pressure, but um, I have been a nurse forever, since the 90s. Um, became a nurse practitioner about nine years ago. Worked um, what I call corporate health care, which sees more sickness than health. Mm -hmm. um, and then I decided to just go on my own as a nurse practitioner and open my clinic. And we do mostly holistic primary care. We still do. Um, you know, taking care of patients that are UCs that we have like hypertension or anything like okay. that. But we try to combine or at least try to go more to the holistic side of um, taking care of our, our body or temples um, because it is a you know a journey that we have. It's not just let's take a pill and then not think about it anymore. Um, so that's where the whole concept came. Okay. And I think holistic care and total wellness is so important because you're right. We'll go to the doctor. The doctor will tell us that we have high blood pressure or the doctor would say we have diabetes. So they're treating that right there. But that came from, I mean, that's a symptom of something. So we didn't just get diabetes because that's what we were supposed to have. You know, so people forget to treat the whole body, you know, and the mind and the soul and all of those things because we all know that hypertension, you know, will kill you diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and especially in our East Tampa community, in our black communities, um, that I don't think we get enough of that holistic approach to medicine. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that we do have people like yourself who want to be in the community, who you know want to take care of our community people mm -hmm. um, and enlighten them on other things other than just the traditional 
approach to uh, medicine. Right. You know, we can take a pill. I, I mean, I have them lined up. I know which ones not to take at what time. But I also want to know what should I be eating? Right. Yeah. You know, how should I be breathing? You know, how to take care of myself. So thank you very much for that. And because, again, it's Women's History Month, tell me or tell us, Deborah, what woman or what women has been an influence in your life? Who has shaped Deborah Garcia to be Deborah Garcia? So um, I've been a lifelong um, reader of Maya Angelou. She's one of my, I think she's the main one that, that kind of influences me. I don't want to mess up her, her quote. So my the quote that I always go by is, um, do the best you can until you know better. Then when you know better, do better. And that to me just means, just says so much. Because we, we're all, we're not perfect, right? Mm -hmm. We're all still learning. We'll learn to the time we take our last breath. Mm -hmm. So it's always trying to just do better as as we live our lives, as we go through our journey. Um, and then on top of that, I have three beautiful daughters who inspire me every day, every day. I was surprised when you said the age of your children, but I'm not, we're not going to talk about that. But, um, you know, amazing. So obviously you're taking care of yourself um, because it's showing up on the outside. You're very, very welcome. But I love that quote. And, you know, people, you hear people say it all the time, especially the young people, or you know better, you know, or growing up as a child. Now, you know better than that. Well, maybe I don't. Right, right. Maybe I don't. You do hear people say when you know better, you do better. Um, I was the last four, last one of four children. All of us were born within five years. Oh wow! So I was okay. On my own a lot. I had great imagination. I did a lot of stuff on my by myself. It's probably where the shyness comes from. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but I always had something that I was just trying to make up or do or just build or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was very um, outgoing. I was always getting into something. So, but I always <laughs> just building something, making something, and maybe that's where all that you know, the, the, the decision to actually go on my own um, came from. Okay. And I told you earlier, you and I were having a conversation earlier. I came from a family of entrepreneurs. Um, I still have entrepreneurs in my family now, um, the younger generation. But it's so funny. It's not in my DNA. It's not there. Um, I'll admit, I don't want to start a business. Uh, but I, at one point I did. My uncle had a bail bonds business. And it was very prominent and it was, you know, doing very well. And I wanted to do that. But my uncle and dad said, absolutely not. So that was it. That, I never wanted to do anything else. But I admire people who are in business. And you hear people all the time saying, you know, just step out on faith that, you, you know, you can just, you can do it. But it's not that easy. It is. And I actually came from a family who there's no entrepreneurs. Okay. So... For me to step out, um, everybody's like, you know, getting a great paycheck, but what are you doing? Mm -hmm. um, but I think, like you said, it was in my DNA. I needed to be out there. I didn't want to just be, um, in a, not that I put down, you know, a job or anything, but, but that wasn't my thing. Right. So. And, but, and I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you and looking at you and reflecting on my own home life. I'm thinking about my sister and I, and she's watching. Um, so... She and I used to make up stuff. She was a, more creative than I am. Um, so we would play store. Uh, we would play restaurant. And we would cut out pictures from a magazine, literally, and tape them on like cardboard, cut them out and sell them, you know, it, literally. And we we had my mom and dad or my uncle who would, who would ever come over. We would literally sell them that food item that was on that paper for the price. And it all if it were that simple, yeah. you know, then I would be a business owner. I would just be cutting out pictures all day long, yeah. but, but I'm here at the CDC. So I'm happy to just help somebody be, achieve their goals and achieve their dreams through entrepreneurship. So somebody has asked the question, how do you make an appointment with you? Okay. So, um, there's two ways. So you can get on the website, then live with the um, and you can log and make an appointment through there. It's pretty simple. Or you can call the office, it's 813-669-6878, and we'll answer and we'll make the appointment for you through there. So I'm going to do like they do on most infomercials or commercials, repeat that. <laughs> so <laughs> the website, stemlifeholisticprimaricare.com, 
or the office number is 813-669-6870. Thank you, ma'am. And Deborah, I, I really, again, I, I appreciate the opportunity that I have been given to be a part of your journey, you know, to watch you, even just in three months, just to see a different Deborah. You know, um, I'm quite sure you are an amazing, amazing nurse practitioner. And um, I probably need to make an appointment with you as well because there are some things that, you know, I need to do, especially as I've gotten older. You know, I need to find another alternative to just traditional medicine. So I, I will be making an appointment. I want to just, I won't just promote you, you know, unless I'm actually going there and finding out about what you're doing. Um, so we're going to wrap up real quick, uh, but I do have a really quick question for you. You and I were talking about your daughter earlier. She's 10, and she's following in your footsteps as an entrepreneur. So at this time, we only have a few minutes left. If we can just give her a shout-out and promote what she's doing as a young entrepreneur. Her name is Isabella Kaylin. So her, the name of her station is Kaylin's Creations. I actually have her creations on me. She makes bracelets from natural stone. Um, she's been doing it for about six months, and she's made pretty good college money already. Okay. <laughs> um, she loves to – she used to be shy, but she actually got to meet um, one of the co-owners of the, the bus, and she promoted herself. She gave her a business card, spoke to her directly. I had to say nothing. So – it's it's getting there. It's moving through the <laughs> through generation. Well, that's perfect. And you used to be shy. Okay, so we're going to say that Kaylin is not going to remain shy and promote our young people, not just our women entrepreneurs, but our young people are at the, out there doing some amazing things. So your daughter will be at the We Mean Business meeting tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to meeting her. And again, thank you, Deborah Garcia, you. Um, for being here. And you have her information. If you miss something, uh, you can catch this broadcast later or by logging on to www.cbcftampa.org and check out more segments to come next month because my turn is up now. But thank you all so much for tuning in. And once again, thanks to Angel Shackleford with Bust Down, Scrub Down and Deborah Garcia with STEM Life Holistic Primary Care. Thank you both.